In this video, we're going to learn how to make a drawing in Fusion 360 where you've got things that fit together and to account for tolerance. Coming up. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso today, covering a question that popped up on the channel. It's around tolerancing. So when you design something in CAD, you can design it perfectly, right? It's not real world, it's ideal. So when it comes to you know moving this, this will fit perfectly, even though when we look at it closely, so we hide this and measure this hole. It's 40 millimeters in diameter. And if we measure this one, same thing, 40 millimeters. Now, so in the real world, that doesn't work, obviously, but it works great in CAD. So um, one thing, we cannot add those reference dimensions or those tolerance dimensions yet in Fusion. I hope someday they can. That is something that you can do in SolidWorks, and I think in Inventor as well, where you can come in and add the tolerance values here. But when it comes to um, 3D printing, uh, it's a little bit different strategy. I'm going to save that for a, you know, a separate video. But when it comes to putting this on a drawing, let's look at that. Create a new drawing from design. Be careful about your units, right? Because you can't really change them. I can't wait till Fusion fixes that. All right, so we're going to go into millimeters, create the drawing. I'm going to drop in a view. And just to make life easier, I'm going to pull that back out, back into the design. Drag it out. There we go. Okay, so we're going to place a view. It'll update in just a second once we. I'm going to save it here. Update it here. And it redraws it. Great. Okay, so what I want to do is create maybe a section view. So I'm going to create a section view. On this view, select the view first, snapping to midpoint, midpoint, right click, choose continue, place that section view. I'm going to select the section view and go to wireframe. Great. Okay. So when we place these dimensions at corner to corner, it's 40. And we'll do this one as well. It's 40. So what I want to do is do a tolerance at the dimension. What we can do is double click on a dimension. This is where we can change the precision. Could add uh, a symbol for like the diameter symbol. So I'm gonna drop one of those in real quick. Great. But then I'm gonna do a tolerance and maybe I'll do the limit style. So it's giving me the two, uh, you know, the upper and lower possibilities of how I can manufacture this. Change the precision, we'll go to three. Both of these values need to be below 40. I know that. And so first it's that upper level tolerance. I do a negative and do 0.08. So it's dropping it. And then I'm going to do 0.142. Okay, so those are the two values that I can accept. This is the upper end of the tolerance range. When you measure it, it has to be 39. 92 or smaller, but no smaller than 39.858, right? Next, let's do the hole. We double click on it. I'm going to add the diameter symbol. This is always getting me. I'm putting it at the end instead of the beginning. Add that. I'm going to change this precision. We can change that precision, and now we'll add that limit value. The top end, I need it to be 40.062. We'll leave it right at 40. So why isn't it showing those trailing zeros? If I double click, that is an option. So we can come to document settings, find trailing zeros, edit that, and we can set these values here as well. So I select this display trailing zeros, it now shows those, great. Hey, if you're just getting started with Fusion 360, check out this playlist I created for you. It's to help you get started with creating new parts uh, with some exercises and different lessons to help brand new beginners get started. Or check out this other video. Or check out this video that YouTube says is the best for you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.